Everyone loves the smell of coffee in the morning, except when it's in their backyard. When Canadian coffee chain Bean Around the World first opened its doors in the quiet municipality of West Vancouver, Canada, it quickly gained a reputation for making the best coffee in town. But it was also getting an unwanted reputation in the neighborhood. Bean Around the World owners Barney McKenzie and Pete Boda remember it this way. It was in uh, late 1990 when uh, we were roasting more frequently and, and we had a problem. We, we were uh, roasting dark, that was our, our trademark. That's right, that was a fabulous dark roast that nobody was doing in Vancouver at the time and that's what put us on the map. And because of that, we emitted a lot of smoke. That's right, yeah. And, and uh, So much smoke that we had a few visits from the fire department in the early days. Yeah, that's right. Faced with fixing the problem or losing their business, Barney consulted with longtime friend and engineer Steve Pans of Inpoheat Industries. Steve's experience in combustion and thermal process equipment seemed to offer a solution to the problem. It's an interesting story. Barney's, of course, family, and he came to us because they had a problem. They had a great gig with coffee roasting, but they had a problem with emissions and odor, and they needed to somehow find a solution. So we're in the industrial combustion business and I said okay we can help you. Yeah that's right we had a problem and I think I was out fishing with my brother-in-law Steve Pans from Improheat and I was telling him about the issue and we were really nervous we might get shut down and uh, he said you know what I can solve this problem I can build you guys an afterburner a thermal oxidizer that'll sit up on the roof of the building. And it worked it really worked. Yeah it was yeah. fantastic so yeah. we haven't looked back since then. No that's right. Enter the smoke dog. Inprohit designed and manufactured a small thermal oxidizer afterburner, nicknamed the Smoke Dog, that is suitable for both rooftop installation and remote operation from inside the cafe when roasting begins. Yeah, for the most part, um, you know, their, their forte is roasting coffee. Uh, they had no, um, no disrespect, they had no uh, applied experience on thermal oxidation process, which we brought to the table from an applied engineering perspective serving the oil and gas industry. So we had to basically take our skill sets from these larger industrial appliances and say, you know, let's take something and shrink it. Honey, I shrunk the oxidizer and now we have an oxidizer for the coffee industry. And that's, in essence, was the, was the collaborative process is that he came up to us with what his problem was and then we said, this is the solution. And we realize, you know, there's a budget constraint and there's a space constraint and aesthetics have to be involved. So, you know, it's got, it's, it can't be something that's going to be detracting from your operation. And so we try to generate, and it has to be simple, and you want to plug it in and turn a switch on. And that was probably the hardest thing for our company was to come up with a design that was really, really user-friendly and didn't require um, a certified technician to really understand the process. So I think we've, uh, over the years, have gotten smarter at making our systems simpler but at the same token here, roasters are now a lot more um, experienced and also have a lot of applied technology with regards to smart systems. So we've continued to improve to, to match the needs of the roasters and for the most part, um, it's been a really interesting business uh, opportunity for us. You know, it's, uh, yeah, thank you, Barney. Now with the flip of a switch, the smoke dog solved the problem. The neighbors are happy and coffee sales at all of Bean Around the World's locations is booming. Just like man's best friend, the Smoke Dog is reliable, loyal, and it does exactly what it's told. It's a beautiful world out there. Behave.